It is day two right now. Um, just waking up here in Ashburn, Manitoba. We're going to be heading north um, up to Thompson for the night. Um, hopefully, being uh, that we get quite a bit further north, we don't need as uh, good of conditions to see a, a decent display. But yeah, we're going to head up north to Thompson and hopefully we'll stay out of the smoke. Um, but we'll see how we do it. Let's pack up. Little Limestone Lake, and uh, this is just north of Grand Rapids, uh, Manitoba. And as you can see, the limestone uh, creates this water, makes this water really, really turquoise colored. I'm not sure how well the camera picks this up, but pretty amazing. Um, gonna do a few uh, photos here, and uh, yeah, definitely worth a stop. It is uh, beautiful. It feels like we're like in a tropical island. Or <laughs> but yeah, let's take some shots. What an unreal location. Um, definitely glad we stopped here. Got a few uh, decent shots. I'm um, just kind of did some handheld shots, but look at that behind. I don't know if you can pick up how good that color is, but it is amazing. The, some of the most turquoise water I've ever seen. But we are just gonna roll out of here and uh, keep heading further north. Definitely worth a stop though. Uh, we're gonna be stopping here next at uh, Pusiu Falls. It's about 30 minutes in, uh, south of Thompson, Manitoba. Oops. Got mosquitoes on me already. So, yeah, we're gonna stop there and take a look around. Alrighty. All right, Todd, what do you think about the that lake? I thought it was amazing. It truly is one of the most turquoise lakes I've ever seen in my entire life. The most turquoise <laughs> lake I've ever seen in my entire life. Um, it, I don't know if it's going to show up on camera or not, but you're going to have to trust us. It is remarkable and looks every much like a uh, Caribbean Caribbean Bay. So, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to head for the north. We have arrived here to Pursue Falls, a uh, provincial park here uh, south of Thompson, Manitoba. And uh, here's a look at the sign and the trail that goes down to the falls. We're gonna spend a little time here taking some photos. Um, this is a really beautiful area and I always try to spend a little time here when I come. So um, there's a little bit of fall colors as you can see behind me but not a whole lot so yeah let's uh, take a walk down to the water and see how she looks So I just got my camera all set up. I uh, took a panorama. Um, everything turned out really well. I was really happy with it. Uh, it's a really high dynamic range image here. Uh, we got a lot of water or light on the water there. And uh, over here we got the shadows. So gotta try to expose for the middle. Um, may have to do an HDR uh, on there, but. All right, so basically uh, my setup here, I got a circular polarizer on the front. I have a um, pre-stop graduated a soft neutral density filter 
and a uh, six stop neutral density filter. So basically trying to smooth out that water um, as much as possible. My settings right now are uh, F11, ISO 100, uh, one sixth of a second. So that gives me a little bit of smooth down water. Uh, bump that up a little bit. If I bump that up a little bit, it kind of blows out the highlights, so we definitely want to make sure we're not blowing out the highlights uh, in the image, so. Beautiful day though, like mid 70s temperatures. Clear sky, should be good for the northern lights tonight, so. Yeah. maneuvering down uh, into this little canyon area um, take a look down there but yeah basically we got a nice rainbow arcing above the uh, the waterfall here a lot of uh, wet rocks here in the foreground um, should make for an interesting photo so I'm gonna give give this a shot here and uh, we'll see how it turns out Alrighty, I think I got a few good shots down there. So I'm just heading back right now, kind of seeing if I can find my way back. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was a really beautiful spot. Definitely glad we stopped. It's always worth stopping uh, here at Pursue Falls whenever I come up to Manitoba. Um, but yeah, we're heading down this way. Not exactly sure the trail kind of came in an odd way here so hoping I looks like I picked it up right now actually but yeah we're gonna head up towards Thompson kind of plan things out for the evening maybe grab a bite to eat oh, the forest is so beautiful though it's always nice to get out out and about on these trails never know what you might find Maybe a bear, maybe a, <laughs> maybe a new composition, who knows. But, I should be getting back to the uh, original trail here soon, I would think. Looks like a few trees have recently fell uh, over the trail here. So we're gonna see here if I can fall over for the video but all right we'll see you guys in Thompson enough time to eat uh, get settled in and then we will um there's that truck again the polar industries guy but anyways yeah we're gonna get all settled in here eat some boston pizza and then head out to do some aurora shooting tonight all righty folks so we are 
south of Thompson right now, trying to decide what we're gonna do here. We got cloud or uh, smoke rolling in from the west, so we're not exactly sure how how bad it's gonna get around here, but we're not looking forward to this. So, yeah, look at that. There's that smoke bank on the horizon there. Kind of a bummer right now. Um, that full moon as well. So we are uh, heading back south right now. Didn't get a whole lot of aurora last night. Uh, just a little bit over the horizon. Basically the smoke kind of washed it all out. So unfortunately we um, didn't get too many great shots last night. Might be a little sound a couple, but they're not gonna be anything incredible. Um, so we're gonna head south here. We're gonna stop back at the Pursuit Falls area, take a few shots during the day. Um, but we got like a 17 hour drive or something. So we might as well get, get it started here. Alrighty, so I think I found a shot here. Um, kind of wandered off the trail a little bit. I uh, found some a really nice mossy area in the woods here. Uh, if you look behind me, so my goal here is to uh, do a, a vertical panorama. I've uh, put on the 7200 millimeter lens, and um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, shoot a vertical panorama here. Um, but unfortunately, we're on some. Uh, um, soft mossy area so I'm gonna have to be very careful of how uh, how I move here and uh, make sure I'm not gonna bump up the bump the camera at all so let's uh let's see how this turns out I think this is gonna turn out really well so I got my a 70 millimeter um, f10 uh, trying to keep the depth of field as to a minimum here I want to try to keep everything in focus um, I got 100 ISO and one eighth of a second, so I'm really thinking this is going to turn out well. Devotion